Sims. And it's been a while since I've done an epic flash review like this. But I don't care, so let's just jump right into it. And the first game is called Planet Platformer. Now let's get into the... First of all, when you die in this game, it plays this music that's, uh, okay. The sound effects are pretty annoying though, and when you die it kind of makes this explosion <laughs> that just kind of sounds bad. Oh yeah, and when you die your soul also kind of drains away, but we'll get into that in the gameplay section. But uh yeah, does it get a 1 or does it get a none? It gets a none, it gets a zero out of ten on the music. Now let's get into the... The graphics are pixelated, but they kinda don't look pixelated. They kinda look like if you take an image and then you just compress it down. It, it, it just looks fucking shitty. Like the text doesn't look pixelated, it just looks low res. Not to mention the disorienting way you go forward, and also, uh, the hitboxes. Uh, let's talk about the hitboxes. Well, they're pretty shit. A lot of the time you'll hit things that you didn't actually touch, or you'll go on things that you're not actually on, or you'll go through things, and yeah, to summarize it, I'm just gonna have a little mini montage play right now. <laughs> Now you might be saying, but, but, but I really like, I really like these hitboxes. I think they're fucking epic. Ree, I'm an epic weeb. I think they're epic. Now you might be saying, no one has that opinion. Um. Anyways, the graphics get a one out of three. Now let's into the it's absolute shit the gameplay not good it's shit it's it's bad it's it's garbanzo beans a lot of people that make platformer games just think oh if i make it really hard that must be a great game wow that must be how to make good games I and mean, actually, that's not how to make good games at all. To make a good platform, you have to go in between way too hard and way too easy. You have to make it in between. Now, before I get into how I think this game is shit, I should explain the mechanics in their basic nature. So basically, there's all of these stars you have to find, and once you find all of them, you win the level. Seems pretty good so far, and when you first play it, you're like, oh yeah, this is pretty good, I'm getting all the stars. But then you die, and you lose every single star every time you die. Which you might say, well, that isn't that much of a problem. But the problem is, this game is pretty easy at the start, but there's one specific hard thing you have to do that is so bullshit that it fucking it makes you just want to uh, not play this game. And the jump I'm, of course, talking about is right here. Combined with the trash hitboxes, the fucking disorienting the way you move in this game, just everything. It makes it very shit. So basically, you have to make it through two doors that, by the way, they can crush you, and then you'll die. And then, you have to fall down, hopefully get all the stars on the first try, because if you don't, well, you gotta go all the way up there and do it again. And then you gotta get all the other stars. I actually almost beat this game one time, but then I died after I did all that. And I was like, you know what? Fuck this, I'm leaving. I'd rather have it be more spaced out and have them have, you know, more like hard platforming throughout instead of just having one part that's very hard and then the rest of it is super easy. So yeah, the gameplay gets a zero to be honest, which is why in total this game gets a one out of ten. Now let's get into the next game. <laughs> Oh, 
The next game is called World Z, and um, uh, let's get into the blah blah blah. All that exists in this game are fucking shitty sound effects that just sound annoying. The music gets a zero out of one. Now let's get into the. Well, this game is a ripoff of Unturned, and it's actually not that much worse than Unturned graphics-wise. Gameplay-wise, it definitely is, but we're not in that section yet. The hitboxes are, well, there's not really many to speak of. But the characters are very blocky, such as in the real game, and the graphics just aren't so good. The graphics are pretty bad in general, so that's why the graphics get a 1 out of 3. Next! So for this one is going to be the ASMR segment, so let's just get right into it. I have no idea why you'd want to copy Unturned, as the amount of people that have played Unturned isn't that many, so I don't see why you'd have a huge audience for that. Now, it is so bad that the gameplay is fairly fun. But the actual game has more so bad it's good gameplay. Whereas this has a lot of annoying waste of time gameplay. It's still much better than last rounds, last last games gameplay. And even comparing it is kind of a dishonor to this game. <sighs> Oh, sorry, that was just an ASMR segment. But, in total, the game's gameplay gets a 1 out of 6. Which is why, in total, the game gets a 2 out of 10. Next game... <laughs> Okay, I've been a pussy, this I ain't got time to play. Just to drown out all these thoughts, I try to kind of think. If I take you to my past, you will be traumatized. Got a thousand kids outside, just trying to come alive. Rolling, 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 got me stargazing. Sipping on perfume like the Barbie. Whatever I done, it got me going crazy. Psychedelics got me going crazy. 99 to catch your roller, had to relocate Tell the dogs I bring it back, it wasn't still a fair Before the car knows, baby girl, she played the tourist guy Got the keys into my city, now she know the ride Got new money, got new problems, got new enemies When you make it to the top, there's still a million Backing up Toyota like a Middle East And it ain't no my shit, it ain't no injury I got out of the state, diving out the nose, please And she hit that with the sugar till her nose, please I said she forever, she on both knees She was talking about forever, got a whole week But she know my baby mama is a trophy She be throwing up a piece of like we both bleed She keep my dick jumping out there like a mold I'm with you go, but this feel like I'm cold Yeah, this right here is that your number Rolling, 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 got me stargazing Sipping on perfume like the bar, baby Oh, sorry about what just happened, guys. That was totally not staged, and this gag definitely isn't getting uh, uh, old yet. Anyways, next game, as I said. <laughs> Our next 
game is actually a completed game of a demo that we reviewed in, I think it was the last episode, or maybe the episode before that, called Color Trouble 3D. Now this game is called Egg 3D, and I thought that was a little bit of an offensive name, so I'm probably gonna have to bleep it out. And do I think it's better or worse? than the last game. Well, I think it's worse. Now, let's get into that in the... So basically the same thing I said last time, you can just put on your own music, there isn't really any music, one out of one. Now let's get into the... The graphics are just as great as before, they have a sandbox feel, as I said before. They're just, you know, pretty good. There's not much to say about them, but they're not bad in any way. The 3D physics in this game, I think, are pretty good. And your view can be disorienting, but it also is realistic. So yeah, 3 out of 3, just like last time. But something I changed my opinion on is the... Now, before I say why I think it's worse, let's go over some of the new mechanics they put into the game. There's a lot, by the way. Blocks them move from side to side, but when you hit them, they stop moving. Blocks that get wider when you touch them. Portals you can go through. Blocks that get bigger when you touch them. And also two types of TNT. Blocks that do this weird shit when you touch them. Now with things I don't like. I think I prefer the ball. It's more fun to use a ball than to use a fucking random car, because you can't even go backwards with this thing. Well, you can, but it's just much harder. Plus, this game can just be way harder, whereas before you were having a really fun time playing the game, now it just sort of seems like a chore gameplay-wise. The game is still very good though, and the gameplay gets a 3 out of 6, but in total the game gets a 7 out of 10. Next, Giggity Game. <laughs> Alright, so this next one's gonna be a super fast review, cause since I'm kinda bored and I, yeah, I just don't wanna make this video anymore. I forget the name of it, but I found this kind of funny, uh, Jeff the Killer game. So let's get into the... It's sort of just generic horror music, that's why it gets a zero out of one. Now let's get into the... They're just as bad as you think. They're kind of funny in how bad they are. Which is why on an ironic level, they actually get a 2 out of 3. It's so bad that it's actually kind of good. Therefore, it gets a 4 out of 6 gameplay wise. So this game probably gets a 1 out of 10 on a actual game level, but ironically, this game gets a 6 out of 10. Anyways, bust your layer, your masturbator, devil naders.